Oh, hello and welcome, FPL managers, and welcome to Zonal Weakness by Gone Football Fantasy, powered by Fantasy Football Scout. And of course, tonight um, it's Zidane's dad, all the way from FPL under the radar from the United States, joins us. Um, well, I can hear the kid of uh, Zidane, of course. His uh, Twitter handle already gives it away. So Zidane's dad. Obviously, dads will always have a screaming child behind them. So it's good to have you, brother. Yeah, okay. thank you, Nadim, for, uh, uh, for for this episode. Yeah, I mean, suddenly Zidane appeared in the show, I think. <laughs> he, yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> reminds me of that... Reminds me of that BBC interview where the Korean professor and his child, yeah. and yeah. you know how that thing and, and that became viral. But anyway, I hope something similar happens with our one, but um, <laughs> unfortunately it won't. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's how how was your game week and how's the game week uh, nineteen going? Uh, yeah, I mean it's going very fast actually oh, we are having so many game weeks congested like in three days apart so last game week it was uh gray although i had solanki but uh, he actually mm -hmm. saved my game week because i just had okay. probably two 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 thousand or uh, three thousand movement in the rank it's not that much so it's it was great mm -hmm. uh but yeah it was okay this game week salah obviously blanked as a captain uh but i still have I think probably six players remaining and so hopefully it will be a good one um, depends on actually city game I have for them like if he can return that that could be a good one so so far it's not that bad I'm just trying to keeping up with the rank like don't want to go so far away so in that sense it's going well Okay, for me last week was terrible because I had lots of bench points. Archer, Gabriel, everybody was on the bench. Mm -hmm. Of course, my defense did a wonderful job of you know not keeping clean sheets, especially Trippier and Poro, and of course Matthew Cash being Matthew Cash. But yeah, um, um, it is what it is. So red wire for me last week, and this week it's so far looking positive, at least. Um, let's see how the rest of the games span, uh, pan out, and then you know then we can all say whether it was a good game. But so far, it seems to be good. I mean, I kept in um, Salah as well this week, so it's okay. But anyway, let's get started to, uh, because this is probably the last show um, before... Um, this is the last show in 2023 and before the year comes to an end. So the next game week, the game week 2021, uh, will somewhere be in January. So I think this is the last zonal that we're doing. So I just want to thank the audience for the, all the wonderful support that you have shown and for subscribing and for continuously watching our videos. We do appreciate. Please do share. Let us know in your feedback. Um, give us a, your feedback as to how we can do better and how we can improve. But yeah, getting on to the Zonal show. And this is the week, Zonal Weakness for Gaming 20, of course. And, and of course, um, if you haven't given us a follow and a like and subscribe, Please do so. And of course, this is the um, last show for this year. And we'll, of course, be coming back um, in January uh, to do Gaming 21. But yeah, we really appreciate all the support that come, that's coming from the Twitter community, but also from the YouTube community, but also from the Facebook community. So thank you so much. Please help us um, as much as you can. And of course, all the data that you see on the Zonal are from the Fantasy Football Scout members area. Ghana Football Fantasy is the only page in Bangladesh to be part of the Fantasy Football Scout network. And if you haven't subscribed or signed up to the Fantasy Football membership, please do so by clicking on the link below in the description section and you'd get a 20% discount. And yeah, all the data is yours and you can do your own analysis and evaluation and see as to which player is likely to score in the coming weeks. Yeah. Right, um, over to the Zonal Transfer Review. And I think it was Gordon that we suggested in Game Week 16. So, yeah, not really great, to be honest. But, yeah, what do you think, Zidane Stad? Um, Yeah, I think uh, when you suggested it was a good transfer, in because they had a good fixture uh, run from 17 to 19. Uh, but, unfortunately, I think Gordon had that knock uh, like little bit injury issue that's why he could not convert the points i mean honors was 
they were actually unlucky, I would say, because otherwise uh, they, he could have returned from Tottenham game, Fulham game, or uh, and even Nottingham again. But the overall Newcastle looks a little bit knackered. I mean, they are they are not performing well. So I think suggest, suggestion was it was a good transfer in, but just outcome was not there. But um, it was a good a good transfer in. Yeah, and you were showing pretty much good form, but I think it was the Newcastle's midweek games, Champions League and everything. Yeah. I think that caught up with them and they're not quite used to it. So, yeah. And I think the injury um, also didn't really help. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Points per match is only 2.75. So, probably one of the worst uh, transfer situations so far in terms of the points per match that we mm -hmm. calculate so far. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And um, this is the, of course, the game week 20 zonal weakness. And here is the chart. Um, what really stands out? Yeah, I mean, lots of players, a good matchup, I think, in this uh, game week. Uh, like uh, at the, the first, if you see uh, from Chelsea, Chelsea should uh, enjoy some time. I think last time they actually hammered Luton at their home, right? So this is away game, a little bit tougher, but it's still. Um, attacker should return so Palmer, those who have it, it is pretty good hold and he has a good picture. Like uh, in zonal, he's ranked five, uh, fifth, um, uh, against Luton. Even Sterling, those who have a Sterling, I was suggesting last week some people like not to sell him because uh, it seems like if you see that this on the right side, it's second and he should start right, so he's a good shout as well. Um just probably touching a little bit um and kunku the i mean if he can play today 90 minutes if he stay injury free that could be an in interesting shout as well right i mean uh, luton our is not a bad game although i think there are some good other matchup like watkins watkins also has a good matchup against burnley um uh, against burnley the it will be ranked fifth so watkins should uh have some return this game week although he was blanking last two game week so uh, and again Holland is returning and um, mm -hmm. uh, against Sheffield it is eight uh, zonal wise so uh, Holland Alvarez I mean lots of good option I think um, probably this week those who have eight players or those eight attackers and those um, it will be difficult to whom to play, whom to bench situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously, uh, Ford and Vilva. I mean, also they are very good option, especially Ford and I think some people have might have Ford and they might transfer in. Um, they are looking for some Man City option. So Ford and Silva is very good option as well. I mean, um, Sheffield is very weak from the left flank, so they are second on that. So um it's a good shout and then jesus and enkita so um arsenal full against fulham arsenal uh, it, it is another good matchup and seems like uh jesus again a striker i mean they have very good matchup so uh i mean if somebody has jesus uh it will be very difficult to transfer out him so uh, Jesus is a very good shout as well, and, uh, and, the, and also Newcastle game, Liverpool versus versus Newcastle. Salah has a very good shot, a very good matchup. Uh, like on the right, left flank, uh, they are fourth. Uh, in the Newcastle they consider twenty six uh, chances. So Salah, Ta, I mean, the, it, it is a very good matchup for them, and even Luis Diaz. Uh, although I think there will be little uncertainty about his minute, right? Uh, with Nunes, yeah, but other yeah. than that, Salah, TA, I mean, those who are looking for sale, probably Salah, it is a difficult decision in this week. And um, Son, he has good matchup as well against Bournemouth, so um, yeah, uh, right from right to length, uh, Bournemouth is fifth. Um, like they consider 62 chances so son and kulu has a good matchup uh yeah nothing what what do you think probably i'll yeah no i mean i agree with you um i think there's one player just i just wanted to make a shout out is that 
Diego Jota, and I think I think he's being overlooked, um, and he's going under the radar. And I think he'll probably become a good option over the coming period when Salah is away. Uh, to be honest, uh, so um, and of course this is the last week that Salah plays, and after that it's game week 21 when Salah will be away for Afcon. So yeah, and people have already sold Haaland. A lot of people have sold Haaland. He's gone down to 13.9, so that's another thing. So bringing in Haaland and bringing in Salah, you know, whether to bring in now or whether to bring in later, is the kind of a uh, decision. And I think this chart kind of illustrates that, or kind of you know clearly depicts or indicates that you know um, those are the options. But yeah, just want to keep shout out to Jota. I think that's a player that we you know all need to keep an eye on a little bit. At least this week, um, so that you know, ahead of game week twenty one, maybe perhaps he could really become an option. Yeah, it's a very good shot, actually. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the next chart and let's see what uh, what's in store for us. Um, well, anything stands out here? Yeah, I mean, I would say Juan Pedro. Uh, he would be good shout against West Ham. They are third. Uh, in the center, and as we uh, today we got some news like Mitoma and Adingra, they are injured, so Pedro should be should get more n- minutes. Uh, and if he gets minutes, he always return, right? So West Ham they are defensively not as strong enough. So I think Pedro is a good shout, like uh, those who have, or if somebody is looking for some uh, differential, I mean Pedro is a good one. Uh, he should have some. Um, minutes and uh, yep and probably another one could be the menu boys especially uh, i see rashford um but i think rashford is a little expensive but garnacho is a good one i mean he actually mm-hmm. scored two goals yesterday and also from the left flank it will be they are uh, nottingham they considered like four chances no they are they they consider 74 chances so they are fourth. So Garnacho is a very good shout. Like if somebody wants to bring in, like say in in, in place of Salah, um, Garnacho, they can think about it. So, okay. Yeah, he's a pretty interesting option. Uh, and I think they're switching flanks. And I think that has worked well yesterday at least. Uh, but yeah, um, I would still say uh, a bit cautious about Garnacho until unless, um, I mean, you find yourself in a situation where you don't have really have the funds and you need to accommodate a cheap player, then Garnacho is definitely one of the options to replace, you know, Gordon perhaps, or maybe Palmer in the future. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So team of the week. This is quite an expensive team, to be honest, I think, beside yeah. Palmer. Yeah, it's an expensive team, but they have very good matchups, so very hard to... Uh, it makes sense actually. So one thing is like Solanke, although they are against Tottenham, but Tottenham is being leaky and they ha- don't have Romero. So um, I think it's it's a good matchup as well. Overall, it's a we already discussed most of the player, but as you see, Salah and Haaland, both of them, I think Salah is more better matchup, but Haaland's uh, Sheffield is more worse than Newcastle. So. It will be a difficult decision for the owners like uh, to sell Salah and bring Haaland because uh, Salah, uh, Salah is in there as well. So, um, I mean, there's the chance or there's the decision probably people need to take, but it's it's a, it's a good good matchup. And it's a tricky situation, to be honest, to have Haaland or whether to bring him later because yeah. Newcastle hasn't been showing great form to either. Yeah. So that's why I think people are reluctant and rightly so. Yep. But at the same time, Haaland is playing Sheffield. And I mean, Haaland being Haaland, you know. Yeah. And he's been away and he knows that he he needs to perform again at the very level, at the highest level. So, yeah, yep. that's that's an interesting dilemma. But again, Salah is leaving on Game 21. So the question really becomes whether to bring him now in Game 20 mm-hmm. or whether to bring him not. I I, I would rather get both. I would rather get both and play safe, you know, even if it needs a minus four. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, minus four, I'm... Be, uh, I think the people, uh, may, many people actually jump to Trent, but say if somebody still not went there, probably it will be easier to keep both Salah, Son, Haaland, all of them. So, and all of them has good 
matchup. So I see trend has, but the thing is Salah, Haaland, Son, they are captain short, right? So yeah. yeah, there. So I think if they have a chance, they should um, roll the dice this week and probably take out Salah next like game of 21 and bring TA probably 22 or 21, I think. And that can work as well. Right. Okay. So I think that's it. That's it for this week. Um, and that's it for Gimmick 20, of course. Thank you so much, Jidan's dad. Um, and thank you, audience, for watching. Uh, we'll see you, of course, in 2024 uh, with Gimmick 21 Zonal Weakness. But before that, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year, a prosperous new year. And I wish you all the very best with everything that you're planning for the upcoming year. And of course, um, our best wishes. And please do continue to support. Thank you so much, Zidan's dad. I also want to take this opportunity to also thank you. Thanks, Bethany, too, as well, uh, for all the support that we've been receiving from both of you in order to bring this show to you all. But yeah, we appreciate it. And on that happy note, and of course, with, with that wonderful note, I would just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart to all of you for supporting us and supporting our zone of weakness. The thread will be out very soon. Take care. Zidan's dad. Happy Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye.